today we have this beauty which is a coleman table lamp and uh i was thinking i was like you know what really haven't had any uh any table lamps on here and maybe people know about coleman table table lamps or not maybe they don't but i always found these kind of interesting this one actually lives on our back back patio all year long so it's um uh, it's a little bit dusty at the moment and uh so it needs maybe a little bit of a wipe down but uh since it was an already pretty well used shape uh you know it never was going to shine up to be uh anything really super great we said hey this is great to have on the on the back patio and um got some spider webs and stuff on here uh back patio and uh when we um when we sit out at night, we're playing, uh, I don't know, either playing cards or playing uh, Yahtzee, which is a, a good favorite of ours. We have this for light, and we use the old, um, uh, the bullfire, the Aladdin bullfire, which I've done a light up on before uh, for uh, for heat. So uh, that's kind of what this is. So this one is a, a model 134, and uh, this is a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, we take this take this uh, shade off here first so you can kind of see what everything looks like and uh, it probably yeah, it needs to be dusted pretty well because it's like I said it's been sitting out in the backyard there and it just gets dusty but the nice thing about it it's all glass everything in here is all made to, made to last so uh, you're not going to hurt it or anything like that by, by leaving it out so uh, I'm just going to set that down here for now and then take a little closer look at this because uh, what does it say I can't quite read it. Anyway, this does not have the fuel air system that pretty much all the other Coleman's that uh, we all use today. Uh, it basically, the second you open the valve, fuel is coming up and it's coming out and it's not going to be mixed with air. So that's why lighting these can be a bit of a, a stressful experience if you don't know exactly uh, what you're in for with one of these. But the cool thing is, they take 21A uh, mantles, they take uh, the uh, the 220 style generator, and uh, they work beautifully like that. So uh, so no problems at all with that. And um, so what we're gonna do is basically, let's see if I got any pressure in here. I do not, so that's not complete. Oh yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so um, yeah, that, uh, that gasket's been on there for a while, so it's uh, it's a little bit um, it was a little bit stuck. But I think let's see how much we got a little bit of fuel in there. Um, wonder if we can find some volunteer fuel from another lantern instead of continually pouring fresh. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, this one over here has got some in it. This one which we've I think it does. Yeah. Which we've seen many times as we've been kind of working through that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pour some of the fuel out of here. It's holding pressure great. And then uh, we'll put some in the and the table lamp. So the table lamps are just great. I really, really like them. The, uh, they, they work so well. And especially if you're in an area where you have power outages and stuff like that in the winter, uh, you not only get the heat, uh, well, you not only get the light, but you also get the heat that comes along with it. Well, there wasn't very much in here, was there? That's all right, that'll be enough. So, um, so yeah, it's a way to kind of add a little bit of heat to your house too while you're uh, waiting for the lights to come back on so we'll set that down here and we'll pour a little bit of that in there but when you look at them they're uh, they're not a lot different than uh than a regular coleman lantern except for the fact of like you don't have the uh, the fuel air system on these the other ones the later ones did have the fuel air system so you may be wondering well how exactly do i light this thing up without causing a giant fireball well these are ones that you have to preheat so um and that's not all uh you'll also notice i've got a fuel cap and i've got no pump the pump is external which is uh which is this right here and um 
I just have a little, there's a little string on it. So like when we're not using it, oops, not hit the panels, but we just basically kind of uh, hang it on here. But uh, yeah, my knots are coming apart. So we're just dispense with that for right now. Anyway, so um, yeah, this is your, uh, this is your pump and that's how you uh, pump the lantern up. The good thing is, is the pump has got a very nice long stroke, so it doesn't take a whole lot to uh, to get it in there. And the way that it works is just basically metal on metal. Uh, this is actually not really <laughs> the right kind of uh, thing to use in here, but it does work. So normally you have like a little rounded bump on the end. This one, the one that I got that came with it, looks like it was used for inflating basketballs before, but uh, at any rate, it does work. So we're just gonna do that. So you, uh, this you just open a little bit the check valve and these is inside the cap they do take the same uh, gaskets as uh, as the other cap so still all replaceable with uh, with uh, modern replacements and then you just uh, start driving the air into it Since this is pretty empty, I'm giving it quite a few, but that's probably good. And then you just kind of screw this down just like you'd screw, you know, your pump knob down. And uh, yeah, it definitely gets warm as you use it. So now the next part here is like, how do we light this up without causing a uh, giant fireball? Let me just kind of spin this around so you can kind of see here the similarities that we have between the, the other lanterns with the burner tube and everything else here and uh, and how this is constructed. So it's not exactly the same, but it's really similar. And uh, this is a one piece knob that's on here. So you can see this is a this is an older one. So uh, I don't have a a date on this one or maybe i do do i have a date Let's see is there anything on the bottom uh no it does not have anything on the bottom i got a six but i don't have the year so i would i would assume that this is probably uh mid to late 30s something like that so, uh, right, so the way that we're going to light this up is that I'm going to use this torch here and uh, I'm going to preheat the generator with the torch. Now, what they say you can do is that you can use two matches on either side of it and light it up and use the two matches to preheat it. And you know, I can tell you this much, I've tried that. I still managed to get fireballs out of it. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm just gonna have a little small torch that I can use. Of course, this one is still not working right. So I have to light it with the other torch. So we'll just apply some heat to the, uh, to the generator here and get it preheated. And it doesn't it doesn't take a, a whole heck of a lot of time as as you see the uh the heat from the torches causing the mantles to luminesce it's not the fuel coming out it's just me hitting the torch uh, hitting the mantle with the torch and uh it's probably pretty good we'll know when we turn the knob so let's see what happens there we go So that is all there is to it. The um, the ones that you can preheat like that, when you do get them properly preheat, it's almost kind of like lighting a, a kerosene lantern. It just immediately lights up. We'll just give a couple of these and, uh, and there you go. So uh, then the next thing is, is that you put your shade on. I can kind of get this to Go on there, there we go. And uh, voila, a table lamp. And uh, with the shade on there, it really, um, I'll turn this around so we can kind of see it in all directions here. It really makes a, for a very, very pleasant light. Um, I really like it. It's, uh, it's really neat. And you know, I would use it here in the house, but during the summer, it's so hot. There's just no way. We had a power outage and, um, and I was thinking, well, I've got plenty of lanterns I can light and all this other kind of stuff. I said, but the problem is, is that the last thing I need to put into the house is more heat because, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll definitely get a lot of heat out of these. I mean, they're not, uh, 
they're not cool. But uh, during the winter, I wouldn't have any problem uh, using this for, for light in the house and stuff like that. The power went out. It would just give you a really nice, pleasant light. And the, um, yeah, the mantles just completely hang out in the open. So there's another one of these that I have that's designed for using with a shade as opposed to a, a glass lamp shade. Those will have a, a glass globe around them and then the shade goes on top. So we'll show one of those off the next time so you can take a look at that. But yeah, these, the mantles just hang out completely uh, in open air and, and nothing, nothing on them. Uh, we found that really, we, well, we have a screen porch so we don't have any really great big bugs that come in. If you had a big moth that had some weight and speed to it, it would probably hit the mantle and wreck it. But we found for like the very small things that find their way through the screen or the little tiny gnats, they just get up close and just get incinerated and drop. So uh, it actually works a bit like a, a bug zapper without the, the zapping. They just get close and, and that's it, they're done. So um, anyway, I hope you like this one here of the uh, Coleman table lamp. Uh, they're really kind of neat and uh, really are nice for like outdoor, like if you had patio lighting or something like that. They look really, really nice. They give a really pleasant, nice light. And um, yeah, if you see one, grab them. They're really pretty cool. I like them a lot. So anyway, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep them lit.